<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you are just tuning in right now, we have concluded the round one of the top eight winner side. And then we're going to look at the bracket in just a moment. It will be Broski going up against Problem X in the winner's final. We'll get onto that in the latter stages of today's stream. But Rins, I was talking about mm. this uh, with you before. Yes. And I was talking about with the production team as well. I'm pretty sure the guys, the locals at home, have been talking about this as well. This is a, this matchup right here was one of the most anticipated ones outside of the Aura Mirror because yeah. of the names, the caliber, and what is on the line for these two. And I'm gonna, I hate to break it to you because they don't like it. If I'm gonna say this, you've done the other six players a huge favor <laughs> because you two, because Infectious and Hurricane in the losers bracket. You guys have done everybody else a huge favor. So like, whew, that's one less problem in the bracket. So no pun intended. <laughs> yeah, a gigantic problem at that, right? Infectious and Hurricane, two of the top three of the region, just complete monsters in their own right. We're going to see them battle out in the next match. Of course, we got four fields and one step later coming after that as well. But when it comes to Hurricane and... I'm blanking. Uh, infectious. Infectious. I'm going to mix with problem. Do you know <laughs> the actual, like matchup like how yeah. who it favors usually so i think it's been kind of like 50 50 but recently obviously last year before we went to the intel world open regional finals mm -hmm. uh in the intel regional uh, sorry intel world open regional qualifiers the close qualifiers uh infectious actually beat hurricane in the winners finals 3-2 then he beat him in the grand finals 3-1 okay so that was then when he was using zeku zeku is buffed we might not see him today who knows but then we saw as well, I think in one of the CPTs prior that, I think Infectious has beaten Hurricane as well. So uh, just off of like the top of my head, the memory I have to recollect, it's Infectious has just been slowly getting the better of him okay. recently. But I think overall, it's kind of been back and forth between the two because these guys are both amazing players in their own right. But Infectious came seventh in the first CPT online we had yeah. last year. And obviously he won the second one trying to qualify. Hurricane has been consistent in the top eights. He's made third, uh, the first one, and then he made fifth in the second one. He's back in the top eight here, so the results are going to change. They're going to be, unfortunately, they're going to be worse for either of them, Rich. Yeah, exactly right. One of these players going out at seventh, I don't think anybody really anticipated that at all. These are two of the top level players. This could have been our grand finals, uh, but it, he's here in round one of loser's bracket. And really what I'm most interested in seeing is who Infectious is actually going to play. Because as you mentioned, the Zeku has done great work against Hurricane, but we've seen that Ken a lot. We've seen him play Luke. There's all kinds of stuff you could pull out. So obviously he's got four characters, or like he's predominantly known for the four characters. Mm -hmm. Luke, Zeku, Ken, and Nakali. For the vast majority of yesterday, he was playing Luke. He only introduced Ken against Mystic Smash okay. to qualify because it was a matchup thing as well. Uh, Hurricane's got a Luke as well. Yes. Um, but he might use him here because of like the past history between yeah. these two. But the thing is, Infectious can throw at us at any given point. But we will find out. I believe we do have a quote from Hurricane because these are some of the, the two of the oldest players we have in the UK FGC. That is a long one. It is always interesting to face my former teammate because they're part of the same team for uh, G-Finity. Uh, shout out to um, Excel. I believe it was. It always goes back and forth, but I believe I have the advantage overall oh, in majors. Okay. Let's see how it goes this time. Good luck. Okay. Ooh, I like that he had that qualifier in there overall in majors, right? Because the atmosphere, the tournament environment really does matter. And mm. it really creates a different experience that a lot of players go through. So the fact that he highlighted that saying that on this big stage with uh, circumstances like this surrounding us, I usually come out ahead. So we'll see. Infectious has been looking like a monster, in my opinion. He looks like, I think, better than he's ever been. So if that's going to be continuing, I think he'll be able to take it. Like I said before, and we kind of like, obviously, we say infectious.jpg. We mean the robotic face it's like listen he has he's a human being he has thoughts <laughs> he get he can get nervous sometimes and again okay. that's listen, what you uk blokes want uh, us to believe that's, right. that's what i did so i have to do that's part of my job <laughs> but i've got to sell you a dream all the time <laughs> but i do feel it he is a little bit shaky sometimes against certain players maybe it's because of the strategy he tries to employ and obviously his demon is broski yeah. which he, he lost to yesterday but i feel Depending on how this goes, you might see a Luke mirror. It might be Luke versus Kami. He might throw us off with the Ken pick because Ken's actually very good, I feel, against Kami. And that's how I feel Could too. be good against Luke. And he's going to throw us mm. off with the Ken pick. And he's going to pick V trigger two as well. So it's going to be a substantial amount of damage. Obviously, these two kind of, I kind of feel they switch positions. Kami's one of the best before. Still an exceptionally strong character, but the health reduction, the stun reduction. Additional recovery on her go-to normals, her potent normals. Yeah. Turns down, then Ken got quality of Let's life buffs, as well as V-Trigger 2 oh, and Heavy Show You could just being some of the best tools he has in that matchup. So let's see how this goes. Very surprised Luke, uh, Hurricane didn't go with Luke first. So that's just me personally, though. 
Yeah, considering both characters changes, right, as you mentioned, that means Hurricane is going to have less opportunities to do things right, and Infectious, he's going to have more opportunities, and he's going to be rewarded more heavily for those opportunities, like those whip punishes because of the damage buffs and the quality of life buffs that Ken has had. Well, this is it. I know in recent like times as well, Hurricane's results in general have been a little bit shaky. Obviously, okay. at this level, because he is yeah. a top eight, he is a top four, like he is a champion in his own right. But like that's automatic. The, yeah, some of these results he's had recently have dipped, and uh, he's in another position where he's got to fight as well. Losers try and change that fact. Ooh, an infectious with the perfect read right there. Jump back on the dive kick. The optimal punish on top of that. That's when he looks like one of the best players in the world. Sometimes he just hard calls you out, and the way he punishes is optimal every time. Last season, she would have been alive from that. No so longer. That, listen, I do think more people should employ the strategy based on her health now. I think they should literally just wait around, go for those big hits, not throw out the heavies, but convert properly off of those heavies, man. Full optimization. We'll beat him to the punch right there, Infectious. You saw him looking for the crouch medium kick of his own. Just backdash from Hurricane that time. Not really trying to play with those anti airs. Gets a grab. Gonna walk up and just wait to see if Hurricane presses a button, which he did with the reversal. Let's see if Hurricane goes to the side swap. He will. Good little Frankensteiner back to the corner. We can trigger two yet for Infectious. So I think he's gonna look to build CA. Yeah, he wants CA first, but he's got all the resources. If Hurricane whiffs, he actually could lose the game if he whiffs. Most definitely, yeah. She does not have a lot of health left. Proper conversion will kill her off. But, oh, Hurricane leaves some damage on the table there. Does get the dive kick, though. And the CA for the conversion kill of his own. We go into a final round here in game one. And this is what I always say about Kami. Shouts to Punk. He will say bait the meter. That's how a lot of people refer it to. But I think if you get rid of Kami's CA before the final round, you have done yourself a very big favor because there's probably about 80% of the cast that can fight Kami comfortably when she's got no meter. I do think Ken is one of those. Yeah, he's going to be looking like you see Ari abusing the fireballs now that he knows he doesn't have any meter to worry about, but that could have resulted in disaster. Hurricane not converting heavily. Wow, catching the end of the dive kick with the HDP. All right, there we go. There's a fireball again. Hurricane still has no meter to work with, and Infectious is slowly chipping away Ooh. at that health bar, but hard read on the jump in from Hurricane. Gets the conversion into Cannon Spike. Can you get another one? Yeah, Infectious a little too comfortable with that projectile game now in the corner. He's got CA, so he's probably looking for some sort of confirm Ooh. or let's up then always walk up and grab. He took the other route instead, the safer one. Yeah, dangerous position to play from. You can see Infectious definitely holding back on those fireballs now, keeping them holstered. Very careful about when he and where he does it. Okay, Hurricane's gonna look to activate off Crouch Fierce. I think there's another route he can take in terms of using the V-Trigger, but I think he wants to use it sparingly. He can activate like that. Good V-Reversal there from Infectious. Next hit for Infectious might win. That could have been it. Yeah, exactly. It was a trade, so he didn't get a CA follow-up. Great DP, no cancel. Oh, but he doesn't need to. Catches the reaching and teaching him a lesson. Infectious first round on the board, first game. I don't blame Hurricane for flinching there. Back throw probably oh, yeah. would have taken it as yeah, well. Ridiculous. So, and like in recent years as well, Hurricane's actually been teching a lot more. He, mm. he never used to do that. He used to just do the button, do the reversal, do the backdash. But recent times, I guess probably because of the characters that have been introduced in the game and the options that are available now, he's been teching. Obviously, in a situation like that, it's life or death. You're going to flinch. So, and I've noticed as well, this is what I really like about his Kami play over the years, he has slowed down. But I think it's because the character's been toned down, so he's had to slow down. Be a little bit more considerate with certain tools. But that's good, right? Showing the adjustment to the character and playing to their strengths, right? Not just trying to force your own game plan or what led you to success. This is how you grow as a fighting game player. So that's really dope to see of Hurricane. Of course, trying to bully Infectious towards this corner, but you see Infectious so good putting out those buttons, countering Cami on the way in. All right, considerable life lead here for Infectious. Less than 50% health to work with. This is going to be an insurmountable challenge for Hurricane to try and reduce this big deficit. He's in V-Trigger, but he could get anti it. And that's rough for me because Hurricane did such a good job, like, slowly working towards the corner. He paid with so much of his life and then jumped over and put himself there. However, it does find the V-Trigger. Gets the grab, and he's going to go for the throw. I think Kami could have chased that down, but Hurricane wasn't quite ready for it yet. And I like this very conservative kind of confidence and defensive play from Infectious. It's very hard for Hurricane to open him up. Yeah, exactly. Trying to pick his spot, make Kami pay with her life on the way in. You see just kind of committing to these low jabs. Nothing too uh, heavily committal. Yeah, Hurricane tried to jump in. Hurricane actually needs to jump in to turn this around. I don't think he can do this on the ground. Infectious just needs any old hit. Go forward, being blocked. 
He's, yeah, he's getting into that range where he can threaten to jump, but he's not doing it. He did it a couple of times. He doesn't want to be too linear, doesn't want to be too telegraphed with it. Watch out for the V-Trigger 2, but I think, I think Infection is going to run down the clock. Wow! Oh, through the fireball, that was so good. Again, all oh, interrupted at the last second, Infectious! My goodness, this man! You know what? I gotta, I gotta give that a round of applause. I don't think I've seen anyone For try real. to jab that. For real. Like, in the entirety of Street Fighter V's lifespan. I, I don't <laughs> think I've seen try that. And that was a very big risk to do that. But sometimes when your back's against the wall and things are on the line, that's the best time to do it, to be honest. Dude, like, his confidence, the willingness to make these big defensive reads and clutch moments, it's one of my favorite parts about fighting games. It's how assertive Infect Infectious has been in this set. It's been really good. Like, it's just very slow, simplistic, straightforward. Nothing like, you know, out of this world Ooh, until he you know? does that. <laughs> he was like, I hear you commentators, bro. You oh. want to say my, my game's not out of this world? Hold up. In fact, just likes to make me look bad sometimes. <laughs> Let me show you this crouch fierce real quick. <laughs> That's brilliant. Probably one of the best changes he had in recent years. I think he wanted the CA. Just didn't end up coming out. He was I looking mean, for Mochi. He walked into that. I don't know if he wanted that. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Say so he didn't. Gets a grab. Hurricane needs a jump. Hurricane needs to jump. See. Ooh, ooh. How does he just walk in and out of these ranges so expertly? He done this yesterday against Mystic. Gets a lot of his opponents yesterday. But he feels like super comfortable doing this with Ken like, Range. It's so good. It's wild. Like he is walking in range where he can get clipped by the crouch medium kick, but he just knows when the opponent is not going to do it. Oh, it brings close. out the EX fireball right as you get into range where you think you're comfortable to press buttons, takes it away, and takes a 2 0 lead. And this is the thing, right? Because I remember, like, uh, FGC Translated done a video regarding uh, Daigo speaking about options and fireballs limiting the freedom in neutral. And as long as you do Another thing he mentioned was not throwing away your options. He had CA, but he had an abundance of options at his disposal there, Infectious. And one of them is the least expecting on an EX fireball. Yeah. And he done it at an unreactable range, like you said. And you yeah. think you can press buttons. Unfortunately, mm. you couldn't. So. Look, man, these are masterminds at work. And then the confirm off that crouch medium kick. Masterminds at work is the perfect way to put it. Like, when we watch these high-level fighting games, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. This is a conversion, unfortunately. That was a beneficial thing for Infectious. He's going to build the meat for the one bar. And he's probably going to save it for later if he gets in trouble. Because Hurricane hasn't really been able to create and gain momentum. It, no. hasn't, it hasn't happened at all in this set yet, I feel. He's constantly just trying to walk down Infectious, but Infectious... Ooh. He tried it again, yeah. He's yeah. doing that against standing medium kick, though, interestingly enough. Not even crouch medium kick. Yeah, again, right there. Not even really attempting some whip punishes either. Kind of just really making sure he controls the pace and not letting Hurricane dictate anything. Not even letting him manipulate him on the ground to whip punish. That stand medium kick is minus four block, I believe. So Hurricane needs to be careful about his placement of that button. And that's a heavy sure you think Ken's got. So yeah. I'm not sure if that can punish that from max range. But he does need to be careful. Now Infectious going a little more willing, a little bit more frisky about the fireballs. Hurricane spins that one bar he has on, taking it away. What if he's looking for the Infectious special? Is he waiting for Hurricane to jump or whiff something again? Got the trigger too locked and loaded. No CA though, so he'll probably do about 300 damage if he goes for activation. We're going to change up that strategy. No. There it is. The execution error on the dive kick. It's going to give Infectious a slight lead. He's oh, dead. and an even bigger lead now all the way into the grave. Cammy goes. My goodness, God reaching, and you highlighted that Hurricane more willing to tech nowadays in Street Fighter V, and man, did he pay dearly for that one. The throws are not going to kill him, but like heat of the moment and how successful Infectious throws have been, he's he's going to make you flinch. Uh -huh. And there's not many people that can make Hurricane flinch, I can tell you that much. And look at this Infectious looking dominant, once again baiting you into the dive kick, baiting you into the throws. Man, this is a master. Now, is Hurricane going to try and go out with a bang because he's on his last legs? This is looking very dire. If he makes a comeback, it will be a miracle in itself. This is a good start in the corner. Oh, with the DP trade, or it was in the uh, uh, Tatsu. Tatsu. Yeah, yeah I like the Tatsu. Three frame. Low forward, he committed. He's going to commit to everything he can do. And because the moment he got momentum, that's what the bar was Ooh. for. All right, they're swinging hands. Let's go, Infectious knows you can't slug it out with me at this point. All oh, the Crown Spears does connect it to the v trigger activation. Throw him, you have to throw him. He's going to try and be reversal. Oh. Good jump. <laughs> Does get out, but he puts himself in the corner because of that. Does check the walk back, but not with a low. Is he actually going to try and walk up and throw it? 
Don't give him the chance. Watch out. Yo, no, he done it. You think he wouldn't do it. Trust me, you think he's not going to do it. But the thing is, match point, two games up. Your life's on the line. <laughs> Has a round to spare. <laughs> like, <sighs> Oh, man, of course he'd do it. Trust me, that is one wow. of the worst situations in fighting games history. Oh. I'm going to delay. I'm going to do this. But 50-50. Uh, yeah, it's a battle between yourself. And yeah. then you just get <laughs> Inner hit. Inner turmoil. You just get hit and you're just like, well, that's it. That, <laughs> yeah. that, that, that's it. I can't say anything else. Yeah. But you know what? That was an interesting set. I learned a lot from that. Unfortunately, the scoreline does state it was 3-0-2 infectious and a very clinical and efficient performance as always, Ringe. Absolutely. And I mean, Infectious, he does such a good job at establishing uh, the very dominant ground game to the point where you saw Hurricane was only committing to these light buttons in later on in the set, right? He was trying to challenge with crouch jab, crouch medium punch even. And he's not committing to these buttons that will actually catch Infectious walking back or walking forward. He didn't really challenge with the crouch medium kick is all we saw. Of course, the crouch medium kick has been nerfed from Cami a little bit, a little bit longer recovery to make it easier to whiff punish. But Infectious wasn't even going for whiff punishes on those buttons. He was kind of just like, I'm going to content with playing my game plan. I know I'm superior than you on the ground. And he just made sure he took all the turns that he wanted and didn't play Hurricane's game.